Time now for our Couch Conversations brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Joining Trevor Scales and Gary Strachey right here on the couch is former Pitt Panther and current disruptor, one Jalen Twyman. Joining the show, appreciate you taking a little time out to talk with us, man. And first things first, we don't see you to declare for the, 2000, for the 2020 draft after a 2000 breakout, 2019 breakout campaign. 12 and a half tackles for loss, 10 and a half sacks, just absolutely wrecking <laughs> stuff in the backfield, man. And you explicitly said in your post that, like, declaring for the draft wasn't about COVID-19. What led you to the decision then? Uh, I just had to take care of my mom and my brother uh, financially. So, Opera now helped me with that opportunity to do that. Yeah, nobody knocking that decision. Jalen, you've never sort of shied away from the spotlight or the pressure, especially there at Pitt. You wore number 97, sort of following in the footsteps of a, another pretty good interior defensive <laughs> lineman who also wore 97. I'm talking about Aaron Donald. What went into that decision, and how's that relationship uh, been building between the, the, the camaraderie that you guys share, obviously going to the same school, same position, same number? AD has always been a mentor to me, but it uh, – led up to me uh, having a good spring ball. And Coach Narduzzi approved of me wearing that number. So once he seen me putting in the work like AD, he ain't mind me uh, wearing the number. You know it's a big deal when the coach has to sign off. It's an approval <laughs> process for that number. You know you got to be a real you one. You got to apply. Without question. <laughs> like, it's a whole off-season deal that you got to make sure that you in line with what exactly is behind that number. Uh, now, Jalen, when it comes to the off-season program that you've been on, right, getting prepped for the league, how's that been going for you, what you've been doing? Because you're looking pretty aki right about now. <laughs> Hey, I'm, hey, I'm trying to, man. Just a little bit. I can't, I, I can't give y'all too much. Yeah. Just a little bit. You, hey, come at the combine. I'm going to be ready. I like it. I like you it. You already look ready. And I actually want to ask you that because what is it like – you being described as six foot two, we see the Twitter videos and you getting after it in the gym, six two, pushing 300. But some people are saying that you're coming into this draft undersized. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know, man. I just try to show up on Saturdays and God willing, it be on Sundays soon. So, hot over hype. What's been the diet to kind of make sure you get to your weight class that you want to be at at this point? Because we got the video rolling now of you up in the gym saying that it was no creatine involved, <laughs> just straight protein. What else are we down in to make sure that we get to the weight class that you want to get to? Uh, I'm just eating a lot of fish, um, no beef, a lot of chicken. What's the like favorite that, fish? Like what? What's like the like the set up the ideal meal? Like when you sit down at night, you ready to grub? Ideal fish and sides, whatever you got going. A, a lot of salmon, a lot of cod, uh, asparagus. At least stuff. Like that. Yeah. Jalen, what's it been like watching uh, your former Pitt Panthers getting after it? Obviously, coming out of the gates hot, starting the season three, you know, a little bit of a slide. But is there a certain amount of FOMO um, watching these guys battle every Saturday? Yeah, man, it's been fun. Actually, I was at the game today. I was crying before the game and everything, man. I just miss those guys a lot. What's uh, been the connection point that you still have with the program? Like, is there a constant sort of contact that you have with those guys? Yeah, for sure. I'm still in all the group chats and stuff like that. Um, I'm breaking down film with them boys and everything. All right, Jalen, I feel like I can ask you this question now because we've already talked about you leaving the program. All right, so that's all good. Well, <laughs> Hands I, clean. I got to know this question, all right, because I follow you on Instagram, and you recently turned 21, so happy belated uh, birthday. I think it was yeah, yeah. Uh, late Back July. Back in July, yeah, yeah. You were celebrating. You, you had the adult bevy, but I need to know what it was. Uh, It was like a daiquiri or something like that. My man, comfortable. Like a virgin daiquiri. Hey, ain't no reason to, like, shy away from deliciousness. Deliciousness, Like, go enjoy yourself on the drink. If like, it tastes I, good, I can rock yeah, it. I'm I, with it. I, I, I hate liquor, though, man. I can't be <laughs> – I don't like drinking. I don't blame you, bro. Like, I like to be in control of myself. <laughs> I more than understand it. And as you continue to make this push for the league, man, it ain't going to hurt you to kind of stay away from it at all anyway. So we appreciate you joining us here, man, on the, uh, on the Couch Conversation brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Best of luck, man, in the next steps and everything like that. Thanks again for joining us here on the wrap-up. Wait, Jerry, yeah, actually – God, God bless. Before you leave, Jalen, let me hear the line one time. Oh, yeah, one time. I, I know you watch Trevor and uh, myself on Sports Center Snapchat, so can you give us the line? Give me those top plays, man. Yeah. Let's 
go. <laughs> Thanks, Jalen. That was awesome, bro. Good luck in the uh, the draft. Salute, man. All right, y'all have a good one. God bless. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.